why laziness can sometimes be a good thing and is indeed important from time to time to recharge and stay healthy. There are also situations when we actually do want to get some kind of work done, study for an exam, go to the gym or clean our home and we are not really able to concentrate because our mind keeps wandering around or we are simply stuck on our couch eating chips, watching Netflix and not able to motivate ourselves to take any sort of action. I know I have felt like this so often and still of course sometimes do but for today I thought I'd just sit down and share some of the techniques that I use that help me to reduce my laziness state, speed up my motivation and I split these actually into two parts. So first of all I'll be sharing some techniques with you that help you to prepare for your next day and in the second part I'll actually speak about what I do during my day to help me reduce my lazy state. So let's go! When it comes to reducing laziness, I like to start by having a look at the night before my next day because for me it's super important how I actually end my day in order for me to have a productive and good start into the new day. So prepare for the next day. Your schedule, your environment and also yourself. Your schedule. After my day has ended, I will try and take a few moments and do two things. First, I will check out with myself. So I will have a look on my day and reflect back on the hurdles that I faced, the new things I learned, the new realizations I had, which successes I had and also which moments I felt grateful for. And this checkout is so easy not to do. It is so easy to just say, oh no, I'm so tired right now and I'll just do it first things first in the morning tomorrow. In those moments I try to remind myself that I cannot do better tomorrow if I don't understand today. The second thing I'm doing is to plan my next day. So I will just go over the to-dos that I had listed out for today and just have a look if I have done them all or if I need to schedule some of them for the next day or for the next couple of days. I also like to time lock each task in my day so I just have a more realistic overview of what I can actually fit into my day and it also helps me to know okay I have two hours for this specific task now to just stay more focused and more present with the current task I'm trying to get done. I also try my best to clean up my apartment before I go to bed because it helps me so much to have a fresh start into the next day if my kitchen, my desk are clean. I know this one sucks sometimes, but every time I do it, I feel like a damn grown-up woman who has her life together and so ready to jump into my bed and feel super accomplished. Prepare yourself. For this one, I have two things. The first thing that is really important to me is exercising. I know another annoying one but I just feel 10x after I've worked out even if I just did a sweaty 10 minutes. And what helps me here is to think about what are things that will make me feel good after I've done them in the present moment but also in the long term. And I just know for myself that exercising is something that will make me feel good in the present moment after I've done it but also help me to enhance my physical fitness as well as my mental health over the long term. Next to that, I'll not speak about that this much, but also doing a bit of self-care here and there has really helped me to just be very present in the moment with myself and let go of unnecessary thoughts that are keeping my mind overwhelmed or busy. So this is something that, yeah, I also like to do whether it's a hot bath or a hot shower, I don't know, massaging my face or something. Moving into our day of getting things done. I tend to feel the laziest when I feel overwhelmed and not really know how to move forward. So for everything we actually want to do, we need to break these things down into smaller steps for us to then take. Remember that university paper that you actually had three months time for, but you started three days before your deadline and felt super stressed. 
Yeah, I have done these things as well before I learned to actually break down my projects into smaller tasks and also put them either into my to-do list or also block these actions in my calendar. I also actually put all of my workouts into my calendar because if I just say, okay, I wanna work out today, you know, then the day ends, I get lazy and then it's a lot harder to actually go ahead and do it. And I'll probably just say, I'll just do it tomorrow. Whereas when I know that I will be working out today at 7 p.m. at home for half an hour, the chances are much higher that I will actually follow through with what I planned out initially. If I notice that I'm actually just being lazy right now, I like to ask myself, how bad do I actually want this thing? How bad do I want to have a healthy body, for example? And that tends to motivate me a lot and actually give me that little push of action to actually follow through with the thing that I actually want. Another thing that has helped me is to start small because I feel like we tend to overcommit ourselves when we want to make some kind of change in our lives. So what I'm doing right now, I set myself really small goals that are actually obtainable for me. So I will set a goal of like something like reading one page a day and I will also not overcommit myself with the changes that I want to make. So I will not also make a goal of going five times to the gym per week while I'm still trying to establish my reading habit. Another thing I have learned is to learn how to begin again. In meditation we learn such a beautiful practice of how we can actually come back to our present state after we've been distracted with some kind of thought. And the same actually goes for all of our life situations, right? Because what usually happens after we've been distracted with something else, let's say we spend an hour of work and we haven't really been productive because for example we scrolled on social media so it's very hard for us then to afterwards actually get into a productive state again because we oftentimes go down a road of judging ourselves really fast but actually just like in meditation we can always begin again because there is no real reason why we shouldn't have the most productive hour of work afterwards after we actually had not such a productive hour of work. So this is something that I like to remind myself of is, you know, after something happened, which didn't go as planned, I can always go back and I can always have a productive moment afterwards. I can have a more useful workout afterwards. I can have a better conversation, which didn't start off as a good one. And this is something that I have learned in the practice of meditation. When you are actually trying to get things done and are spotting overwhelming thoughts of things that you still need to get done, get them out of your head. I learned this method in the book, Getting Things Done by David Allen. I also interviewed him if you want to learn a bit more in depth about the method that he explains in his book. I link this one right here. Have a place where you can actually capture all of these things that are wandering around in your mind so you know there is a place where you have noted everything down so you know that you won't forget them and you know that you can just visit this place later but you don't have to keep your mind busy wandering around this thing right now but you can actually just come to it back later. If it takes you under two minutes, you can also get it done right away. Then of course it's completely out of your head, but one of the two have definitely helped me to be more productive and not be so caught up with the current thoughts that pop up into my mind. And the last thing that I have learned is to celebrate my small wins. I forget this one all the time, but I think it is so important in order to boost your self-confidence, but also to energize you in the long term. So please don't step over all the small things that you have done great and think something along the lines, oh, I cannot celebrate yet because I haven't achieved X, Y, Z yet. This way you will probably never celebrate because there will always be another, a bigger goal that you are waiting to achieve so the next time you actually have something small that you did great acknowledge that and actually take a moment for yourself or with your friends and family and acknowledge that 
you just have done something great. So that's it for this video. I really hope that some of the techniques were useful. Please note that these are just things that work for me. They might not work the same for you. So take everything with a pinch of salt. And what I also wanted to mention is that it's super okay to have lazy days. Indeed, as I said in the beginning, it's super important to actually stay healthy and to recharge. So I just wanted to mention that at the end, also again, just so you don't forget to also relax from time to time. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would be super grateful if you'd actually hit the subscribe button and I hope to see you very soon in one of my new and next videos. Bye.